The first planes were open frame, with pilots relying on goggles alone to protect their eyes from the elements. The first American woman to become a licensed pilot flew such a plane on her record-setting flight across the English Channel. But just three months later, Harriet Quimby's Blériot plane took a nosedive during an air show in Boston. Without seatbelts or an enclosed cockpit, Quimby and her passenger were both thrown in the shallow water below, and neither survived. Before hitting the ground, her plane came out of its dive and landed without much damage. Still, the shocking demise of the promising aviator was a turning point in aircraft safety and design. It ushered in the first cockpits and windshields, now standard features. But not all cockpits are created equal. Welcome to Get Around How. In this video, we'll be exploring the closed cockpits of fighter jets and explaining how these transparent enclosures are designed to protect pilots from the insane conditions they encounter. The first windshields were made of lightweight materials such as mica or natural and synthetic plastics, which were not strong enough to withstand pressure and temperature fluctuations during flight. These early windshields also posed a danger to the pilot as they were prone to breaking and shattering into sharp pieces that could injure the pilot. With the advent of World War I, the demand for stronger and safer windshields increased. The military required aircraft that could fly faster and carry heavier loads, and the open cockpit was becoming an engineering challenge. In response, engineers began exploring new materials that could be used to construct windshields. This led to the development of laminated glass, which was made by sandwiching multiple layers of glass together. This material was stronger, safer, and could withstand pressure and temperature fluctuations. In the late 1930s, cockpit enclosures became standard on all aircraft. Using laminated glass and other advanced materials allowed engineers to design lightweight and aerodynamic enclosures while also providing adequate protection to the pilot. The enclosures were typically located behind the engine. They covered the skeletal frame of the aircraft with fabric, leaving an opening or two on top for the pilot's head and shoulders. The result was an airplane that was much safer and more comfortable for the pilot while also improving its aerodynamics by directing the air around the plane rather than through it. As airplanes continued to evolve and become more complex, the design of windshields also improved. During World War II, fighter planes became the primary aircraft used by the military. The design of these planes was optimized for speed and maneuverability, and the windshields played a critical role in this. Fighter plane windshields were designed to be as aerodynamic as possible, with a sleek shape that reduced drag and increased speed. The windshields were also made of advanced materials, such as composites, which were lightweight, strong, and resistant to high impacts, extreme temperatures, and UV radiation. Today's fighter jets are far more advanced than their World War II predecessors and demand even more protection in their cockpits. Pilots sit in a transparent dome-shaped enclosure called the aircraft canopy or cover lid. Modern fighter jet canopies provide the pilot with the necessary protection and visibility while also improving the performance and maneuverability of the aircraft. With their advanced materials and technology, these canopies are an impressive feat of engineering and a testament to the advancements that have been made in aerospace for the years. One of the critical features of modern aircraft canopies is that they are designed to be as transparent as possible, providing the pilot with an unobstructed view of their surroundings. This is important for several reasons, including improved situational awareness and visibility during takeoff and landing. The clarity of the canopy also means that the pilot can see the aircraft's instrumentation more easily which is crucial in high-stress situations like a dogfight or during a night mission. Modern aircraft canopies are also designed to be as aerodynamic as possible. This is important because a fighter jet needs to be as fast and maneuverable as possible. 
The canopy is carefully shaped to direct the airflow around the aircraft, reducing drag and improving its overall performance. And in the event of an impact, the canopy is designed to absorb the energy, preventing it from reaching the pilot. The canopy is also designed to be easily ejected in an emergency. This allows the pilot to quickly and safely escape the aircraft if necessary. Many modern fighter jets have canopies equipped with sensors and displays, allowing the pilot to access a wealth of information and control systems from the cockpit. This includes flight instruments, navigation systems, and weapon systems, which can be displayed on the canopy itself. This helps the pilot to focus on flying the aircraft while still having access to the information they need. These advanced features are more than just impressive. They're essential. Today's fighter jets are more akin to spacecraft than early airplanes. These jets must be able to operate in a variety of environments, from high altitudes to the harshest weather conditions. One of the biggest challenges facing modern fighter jet canopy design is high-speed flight. These jets can fly at supersonic speeds, which means they must withstand the intense pressure and temperatures that come with this kind of flight. The canopy of a fighter jet is designed explicitly with materials resistant to high temperatures, abrasion, and the impacts of high-speed flight. The modern fighter jet is designed with the ability to operate in a wide range of weather conditions, from clear skies to thunderstorms and heavy rain. To accommodate this, modern fighter jets are equipped with advanced weather radar systems that help to identify and track incoming weather patterns, and specialized windscreen materials that could resist damage from rain, sleet, and snow. Another essential aspect of modern fighter jet design is the ability to withstand the extreme G-forces generated during high-performance maneuvers. Pilots must be able to maneuver their aircraft at high speeds and with tight turns, which generate massive forces on the body. To counteract this, the cockpit of a fighter jet is equipped with features that help to mitigate the effects of G-forces on the pilot, including specialized harnesses and G-suits that help to keep blood flowing to the brain during high-performance maneuvers. In addition to the physical demands of flight, Modern fighter jets must also be designed to withstand the impacts of weapons and enemy fire. This means that the aircraft must be constructed with solid and durable materials and withstand the impact of bullets, bombs, and other forms of artillery. The canopy of a fighter jet is specifically designed to protect the pilot in the event of a direct hit. Fighter jets must be able to operate in a range of combat environments, including air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. This requires the aircraft to be equipped with advanced navigation and communication systems and weapon systems capable of engaging a wide range of targets, from enemy aircraft to ground-based targets. The canopy of a fighter jet must also be designed to accommodate these systems with features like heads-up displays, helmet-mounted sights, and advanced instrumentation that allow the pilot to remain fully engaged in the mission at all times. So what materials are fighter jet canopies made of that can withstand all of these incredible extremes? In most fighters, the primary material is a type of laminated polycarbonate, a thermoplastic material known for its strength, transparency, and ability to withstand high impact. The canopies are usually treated with a coating that enhances resistance against scratches and impacts, reduces glare, 
and prevents the cockpit from getting too warm. Polycarbonate canopies are typically manufactured by melt extrusion. The raw material is melted and then forced through an extruder, which shapes the material into the desired canopy form. The canopy is then cooled and solidified. The result is a super strong, ultra-transparent dome that can withstand everything from a bird hit to supersonic speeds. In addition to polycarbonate, fighter jet canopies may also contain other materials such as metal, glass, and composite materials. These materials are used to reinforce the structure and enhance the overall performance of the canopy. For example, using composite materials can help reduce the canopy's overall weight, which can lead to improved fuel efficiency and maneuverability. The F-35 cockpit canopy is made by GKN Transparency Systems through a complex process. The acrylic and other materials are put into a tool and heated up to 200 degrees. Then, over three days, the canopy takes shape. While that's happening, a control system constantly adjusts clamps to keep the shape uniform. The interlayer materials include things like polyurethane and silicone and some secret proprietary materials with specific optical properties. These interlayer materials provide a bond between the core plies and offer extra safety features like bird impact resistance, pressure failsafe, and anti-ice, anti-fog systems. The F-16 has a canopy made from plastic laminated polycarbonate acrylic. The number of core plies can vary from 2 to 4 and can be made from acrylic or polycarbonate. The interlayers are made from either polyurethane or silicone depending on the manufacturer. The innermost layer is molded into a curved shape and then attached to the outer layers using polyurethane or silicone interlayers. The F-22 Raptor canopy is made from two sheets of polycarbonate sandwiched between two layers of optical glass and then fused together in an autoclave. The whole thing is then molded into shape over a canopy blank. Plus, it has a golden tint from a metallic indium tin oxide coating that helps reflect radar waves. The canopy also has a special window member made of transparent rosin or inorganic glass with a transparent conducting film like gold or ITO on top. This helps make the aircraft stealthy by scattering radio waves in different directions and preventing harmful electromagnetic waves from invading the cockpit, all while still allowing visible radiation through, of course. Aerospace engineers are constantly developing the next generation of materials and technologies to improve fighter jet canopy's visibility, strength, and durability. Proprietary materials designed for use in military planes are closely guarded secrets, but we do know that there is constant improvement in materials and processes that make the manufacturing of high-tech parts faster and cheaper with ever-improving quality. The fighter jets of tomorrow may have capabilities to improve stealth, withstand even higher speeds, or hold up against more impacts. They'll also likely include even more computer integration with improved displays, seamless transitions, and crystal clear vision.